The new HBO show Gilded Age is being praised for highlighting wealthy black families that lived in New York in the late 1800s until they were driven out by wealthy industrialist Colin Jost I. <laughs> Cheryl P. Paul. <laughs> oh, guys. It was reported that Queen Elizabeth II has permanently moved out of Buckingham Palace, and this is weird, in with John Mayer. <laughs> a thief in Colorado broke into a truck and stole a box of human heads. Even more disturbing, it was an Arby's truck. <laughs> Producers for this year's Oscars <laughs> announced that presenters will include John Travolta and Lupita Nyong'o, or as Travolta calls her, the wickedly talented <laughs> Lucretia Bonobos. <laughs> <laughs> New report shows that during the pandemic, meth users met online to use the drug together, mostly on the popular meth user app, Tooth Grinder. <laughs> you get it? <laughs> The U.S. government announced that it would rename more than 600 rivers, mountains, and other landmarks that use a racial slur for Native American women. Wow, so we changed those names, but they can still just call a restaurant Cracker Barrel. <laughs> Tuesday, <laughs> Tuesday was International Women's Day, so hopefully you remember to smile. <laughs> <laughs> Scientists are saying that by using new gene editing technology, they could bring back the extinct Christmas Island rat. Or not. <laughs> the other option is not. A video has gone viral of a man urinating on a New York City subway while other passengers appear not to care. But they were probably too nervous to say something because I'm on TV. <laughs> An assistant principal in an elementary school in Mississippi was fired after he read the class a children's book, I Need a New Butt. The book is about a lovable rabbit who just ate at Chipotle. 